<laughs> Somebody's gonna take over the operation. Right? Somebody's got to. How will they know the ways of the masters? Yeah. We're not there to instruct. Everybody's be running sequencing, CRISPR stuff, and yeah, no one's gonna know how to collect the ants. So why do you think today would be a good time to collect? Is it today? We didn't have rain yesterday. No, but the day before or two days before, and we've yeah. had so much rain, of course. And it's been cool. It was nice and cold last night. I think this is perfect. Like a week and a half. This look awful like polygine. Yeah, they do. But I mean, that peak thing there holds. Come on. This one looks great. Um, I'd say it looks perfect. So I'm coming in from the sun side, the sun behind me. And it's right um, behind you, yeah. Because the ants, uh, it was very chilly last night, down in the 40s, low 40s. And it's only shortly afternoon right now, which is 11 solar time, since we're on daylight savings time. Mm -hmm. So the mound is like a solar collector. It warms up and they bring the brood and the queen up to the top of the mound, or way up in the mound where it's warm. So that's how we get the queen. So I'm gonna come in on the sun side because that's what's gonna be warmest. All right. And try to get, we walked up very carefully and quietly. Oh yeah. And just stick up the whole thing. Pick up the whole thing. I don't even wanna look right now. I just wanna <laughs> I don't, see it, but I don't see that. We have to brood. look at the brood pattern. Do you see any worker brood, Horace? Not quite. I only see sexual brood. Yeah, so that's not good. I have to agree with you. Um, so we're going to have to look more carefully at what's Yeah, there. there's only sexual brood. Yeah, no workers at all. Almost none. Okay, so that tells us it's. Uh, lost its queen, presumably over the winter, which is not all that uncommon. That's yeah, good. yeah, really not that many. Okay, so we we'll reject that one. And that, by the way, um, if they haven't already had their flights, early spring, late winter flights, where they get rid of all the overwintered aelites. Yeah. Uh, they will have one, and that colony would get reclaimed, presumably by one of those queens. All right, so we see what this one has. Off. Whoa. It looks more promising. Yes. So but, look, but still... You see worker bread? Yeah, I see. Not that much. Well, it's early. It's early in the year. Right. So we're not going to see a ton. But what we really want is the queen. Yeah, there's, there is... A fair amount of it. Yeah. I think we got her. And All right, that's what you said every time. <laughs> that's what I said every time. Um, I think it is monogyne. Look at the size of some of those majors. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem at this time of year is the selective mortality and survival based on size of the workers. So you get this weird size distribution where all the colonies out are enriched for large workers uh. because they're the ones that survive through the winter predominantly. So for something like this, mm -hmm. what do you think? Would it be... Could be just massively disturbed monogyne. That's just hard to say till you crack into it. Yeah, I know that looks really bad. I mean, that's so spread out. Mm -hmm. Something like this I can imagine is monogyne. But one that's spread out like that, I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I got it. Mm. That's got work to do. Remember, we're not looking for a lot. So I think the real key is um, there is a shift in the overall size distribution of the workers, but what you really see is that the monogynes have these extra large mages that you really, mm. really don't see in the polygons. Ooh, but it's 
empty. Dave. Bummer. Do you think they moved? Yeah, I think they moved right down there. It's also empty. Are those termites? Kind of. And indeed, yeah, there are termites in it. Yeah, it looks like the termites, we colonized <laughs> their, their nest. Yeah. Fire on fire in it just silly weather. This is hard to guarantee that we're getting it's hard definitely one type or the other. Yeah, but um, I mean that last one, for instance, you wouldn't really have doubts about that, would you? Less it doubt. Less doubt. Less doubt. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, the things could happen, like a queen, the original mother queen died, and it got replaced, got, got requeened re by a polygon. a polygon queen, and then yeah. it, it converted into a polygon colony. Yes. Which is the chapter I'm writing right now in the book. No, oh, how's that going? It's painful, freaking painful, <laughs> is all I can say. Yeah. As much as I think I know, or thought I knew, when you really have to dig into this stuff, it gets a lot more complicated. All right, here's Horace, the son to his back. Right. He's the pro, getting a good monogyne colony in early April. That's some good narration. <laughs> See. Do you see any brood? Do you see any ants? Yeah. Well, I think we should take it. Okay. Seven. Hey, how's it going? Give me some ants again. We are. Were you here last year? Yes, sir. <laughs> you fill my holes back there. That's all I ask. We're trying. So I don't. Uh, yeah. I mow this with the. Uh, I don't wait for the county. Yeah. We mow this with the zero turns and okay. a big hole. We don't like. That. 